Alright, so I couldn't I could not locate my chest mount. So we're rolling off of the shirt. Old school, like back in the day. Y'all can see what's going on here. Alright. This old girl is toast, y'all. off the line and then once I do that I'll go play on the inside see what I can do for neutral there we go alright so neutral turn it off I probably could have drove it up a truck. It started, but well. Hindsight's 2020, huh? Should roll and hit the bed. off that curb. You know what? I know it will. It's probably still going too, but oh well. Let's roll. Nope. Tires a lot like I want. Good. Keep it from rolling at me. That's just the brake. Get a couple straps on her. It's in a busy intersection, so we're gonna get a couple on it and go somewhere else and put the rest on. Happy Saturday, y'all. It is a beautiful day. I can say that. It is gorgeous. Thank y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Officer said I didn't have to mess with the big pieces. So, you gotta tell me twice, brother. Now, if it were oil or something, that would have been a different story. They don't take no chances for that, nor should they. Uh, hydraulic fluid is the worst, in my opinion. Hydro fluid, y'all, one time. I worked an accident and then there was a separate company that was contracted to come out and clean up the clean up. It was hazmat hydro fluid from a big dump truck wreck. Well, after that wreck, 
not 20 minutes later after that. Make sure the cop's good. Yeah, he's gonna be cool. I'm gonna make sure though. It's one of our policies uh, that I make sure verbally that he's good. We're good? Thank you, brother. All right, so um, y'all notice this is predicament. I'll let y'all ride with me for a sec. All right, I'm just gonna let the camera roll because this is kind of cool. I don't know how much of it they'll be able to see. Let the truck air up real quick. Keeping all my lights on. And then we'll just kind of back out of this hole like the same way we came in, which is all crazy. All crazy. Just trying to stay off this water main. One, and now it should get us straight over. And we're staying off all the stuff that has anything to do with water. One cool thing about being a record driver is sometimes you do get to hop a curb if you're real careful. But you do get to do cool stuff like full off-roading in a um, big truck and it's not illegal per se. I remember the first time I ever got to do some real crazy stuff, an officer from the same kind of, the same county con, they uh, escorted me to a wreck because of the um, it was right in front of a fire station and when I, apparently that happens um, there's like a little bit more of a concern to get people to get the wreck cleaned up maybe you know because if, if something happens they have to be able to dispatch those trucks right long story short I'm in the traffic waiting to get to the wreck and boom, I look over and there's an officer, a uh, 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 sheriff's deputy, and uh, she did this. And I, I knew, bro, I'm like, it's time to go. So uh, I'm not gonna talk about what we did to get there or the speeds that we did, but we got there and uh, got it loaded up. This one was a bit hectic. It was a trailer, Brett worked it with me. It was a trailer on a landscaping truck and the stuff went flying everywhere there was big scrapes in the road like deep ones gouges and i remember one of the deputies specifically saying whatever y'all do i don't want that drive line scratching up that road any more than what it already has and so me and brett that's when i first learned how to my first time ever tying up a drive line anyways y'all i'll get with y'all when we're back to the yard unloading thanks for watching all right y'all so um we are gonna unload this thing um i've gotten all the straps off of it because why not i've um typically if it's like hanging like this and i have to worry about it running crap over and stuff it's like a lot of times i'll bungee it up real fast Especially if it has its own bungee. The car is totaled for sure. It has um, every airbag is deployed in the entire vehicle, it seems. Um, but I don't want to tear this crap up any worse than what it. Alright, so now I got it up off the ground a little bit. Uh, uh, we're going to get this. Every airbag is deployed, man, but still, let's see. I got the cool little retractable straps. I'll put the link in them for my T. Uh, they're like $7. Man, these things are amazing. They got six footers and I think 10 footers, and the prices vary, obviously, but uh, I love these things, man. I love them. I use them for everything. We'll see why right here. I'm sure most of you already know about them, but for those of you who don't, Once you go self retracting, you're never going backing. That was stupid, very corny. But 
once you use these man you won't ever ever want to go to your traditional one ever again and i'm not even like the best um strapper stuffer upper man right like i don't consider myself to be a pro but they make me feel like a pro when i use those because they're so easy like boom and i look I may not look professional, but I feel like I look professional when I'm using them. I'm like, wah, 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 and they're like, dang, you see that? Dude using them ratchet straps. He's a ratchet strap professional. Yes, that is me, sir. Ratchet strap professional. We all have our hats, dudes. Let's see. Everyone is okay, y'all, by the way. Um, I'm probably going to come back up here in a little bit for free and get these people so they can get their property out. I'm going to roll up all the windows right now and lock everything up really good. I'm going to pull up and then this needs to be in better, a little tighter than this. Ooh, there's another one too, okay. Just need to make sure I'm going straight in the hole here. And I'll forward a little bit. There we go. A little bit closer, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more. There we go. Much better. All right, y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Let me get this information in. And uh, if you haven't already, smash that like button. And then uh, comment down below on, uh, you know, the craziest wreck if you've ever done one. Um, not like, you know, people dying and stuff. I don't want to hear none of that. But the craziest wreck that you've ever put on your truck. Thanks for watching.